The Switch remake of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door has just been released and with it we can see that there have been more details given about Vivian's gender. In the GameCube release, Vivian is always referred to as a female in the English version. However, in Japan, Vivian is explicitly called a male. Despite looking and speaking feminine, and despite Vivian calling the trio the Three Shadow Sisters. This then led to the belief that Vivian is either trans or non conforming, and as for the English version, it was common during this time period to censor LGBT or non conforming references in English releases of games. In the new remake, Vivian now says, Truth is, it took me a while to realise I was their sister not their brother. Now their usual bullying feels heavier. And in the Japanese version, Vivian says, The thing is, I, I have a boy's body, but my heart is a cute girl's. The next line was also modified in Japan to say that Vivian has girl's feelings. Furthermore, Vivian also uses the feminine pronoun Atai in Japan. And so this marks the first time for Vivian to have a reference to male gender in the English version. In the English remake version, Vivian is always referred to as a girl, and the Japanese remake removes or alters lines that called her a boy in the GameCube version. For example, Vivian still calls the Shadows the Three Sisters, but Vivian no longer gets called a boy for saying this. And the Japanese party description for Vivian has been changed to say, has a boy's body but a girl in their heart. The English party description on the other hand simply says Vivian was one of the three shadows, but has now chosen to leave her two sisters behind. And the Japanese title entry no longer references gender, and it talks about how cute Vivian is, and how she might be a bit jealous. This is similar to what it says in the English version. And so, as shown, there are now more details given about Vivian's gender in both English and Japanese. There are some discussions on the English side of the internet over the use of the Japanese term otokonoko. This is one of the main ways to say boy in Japanese, and it is one of the first words you will learn. However, a slang version started to be used online in the early 2000s, which is not only pronounced exactly the same, but when using hiragana or katakana, it is also spelled exactly the same. The only difference is when it is written in kanji. The usual kanji for otokonoko are the kanji for male, which is the first character, and the kanji for child, which is the last character. For the slang term, the child kanji is replaced with the kanji for daughter or girl. The slang version means a male with a feminine appearance. However, this slang is not something that everyone in Japan will be familiar with. Some Japanese dictionaries don't list it at all, and others say it became known in the subculture area in the 2000s and became widely popular in the 2010s. In the game, Otokonoko is not written in kanji, and it seems fairly unlikely that Nintendo would be intending on this new slang version. And again, Otokonoko is one of the main words in Japanese. It is one of the main ways to say boy, and is something you, of course, come across all the time. Furthermore, not only are there other ways to write Otokonoko if you want to make this slang meaning clear, but Japanese also has other words that could be used that have a similar meaning. And then finally, in the GameCube version, Vivian was called other things than just Otokonoko, including being called Otoko, which is one of the main ways to just say man, guy, or male, as well as being called Ototo, which means young. Brother. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, thank you for watching.